one of the news today is the timeline. What do you think about it? Well, I mean, look, I, I think it's great. And they're, they're introducing a lot of great stuff. And it seems like it, it, I don't know what the demand for it is, but we'll have to see if these things get taken, uh, used. I mean, there's a lot of, they're introducing a lot of great features. I'm just concerned that they are concerned uh, that they're launching all these features all at once. And I think that that might, you know, for some people, be a little bit of, a, of an overload problem. And they have to, I would just advise them to take it steady. But they all seem like great features. But I think that I wonder if people want some, are going to miss some of the simplicity that, that was there before. Are they changing Facebook from being a social uh, network no. to an informational network? I don't think they're changing so, uh, Facebook into being an informational network. I think they're just trying to keep people on site longer with more content and more ways to interact with each other. And obviously, content and media is a big way to do that. Um, so I, I, I welcome them uh, welcome them adding all these new features. I just think that people tend to view this as a very personal experience, and if you uh, if you introduce too much into the system at once, it could it could be you know a bit of an overload. So what's the biggest news today from FA? I, I'm still a little bit behind on all the news, but I think that I think the biggest news probably uh, was what came yesterday, which was the changes to the news feed, and how they're trying to you know show you more real time content than they were showing you before. Uh, and less, a little less curated content. So we'll, you know, have that personalizing that experience. But I don't think there was anything blockbuster that I saw that was like, you know, game changing. And what about uh, the, the integration of uh, music like Spotify and other? Features? I'm not clear if that's going to be a huge success because I don't know if people are going there for those kinds of experiences. I think that people are going there to see photos of each of their friends and family, to see you know what's new in the friends and family, what's new uh, and uh, who you know who is with whom and so forth. I don't think people are there yet for other kinds of experiences, and so it's great that they've laid the tracks. I don't know if the train yet is on the tracks. Okay, so what's the road, roadmap like, do you think, I mean, for Facebook going? going well, the, well, they're trying to be your, your uh, I mean, and I think this is the interesting thing about timelines. They're trying to be the center of your identity. Um, and I think that that's, that is terrific, but there's a lot of people who don't want to have an online identity. I mean, that's probably at least 50% of the population does not want to have any kind of that. They're, they're nervous about the, about the privacy implications of that. So asking people to showcase all of their kind of history from the, prior parts of their lives, there'll be some people who will jump into that and do that, but I think the vast majority are going to be very cautious and slow. But what about the commercial uh, potential for Facebook? I mean, like when they um, integrate such services as music or even pay TV or, or I mean, like that's, uh, suddenly it's like you and me and everyone else using Facebook. Uh, uh, will we'll think uh, this is becoming more commercial. I'm not or convinced that's going to be a hit. I think that that uh, that people have formed habits for uh, for consuming that content in lots of other places. And when you look at you know uh, when you when you look at media specific, specifically um, you know movies, television shows, uh, audio, uh, you know music. You know the dominant force right now is iTunes. I don't care what anybody says. iTunes, iTunes, iTunes is number one, and Amazon is a close number two. Uh, and in some ways, in, in certain things like ebooks, number one. I don't know if people are going to want to have that experience inside Facebook. They might, I think, where they could is around live events, but I think that the majority of people on Facebook are there to see what's happening in their friend's world. Now, that touches media. But I'm not convinced people want to have those two things connected. We'll find out. I mean, I think I give them tremendous credit for innovating and pushing the envelope and seeing what can be done. I'm not convinced it's going to be a hit. Mm -hmm. So what about the subscription functionality? What do you think about that? I think that's, that's a welcome change because it allows you, uh, and that's probably, you're right, that might even be bigger than the news I mentioned because, um, because that allows you to share with a much broader audience than you could before, and that eliminates the whole uh, reciprocity that was there and saying I have to let somebody into my friend circle uh, even if I don't want to be friends with them back so uh, so I thought that was a uh, that was a welcome change that they made and I think that will you know create uh, more opportunities for people to engage mm -hmm. okay. uh, will it be um, a challenge for Twitter or will, will it not I don't see this being a, a threat to Twitter because I think Twitter is a Twitter to me is less a social network and more of a of a um, of a of a channel for news it is really I view Twitter like you know the next generation of CNN uh, so what CNN was to uh, to news in the 80s 
Uh, I think Twitter is to what news is in the in the 2000s and in the 2010s. Uh, it is uh, if you look at the majority of what people are talking about on Twitter, it is issues of the day, entertainment, sports, and I think it's uh, it's solidified its presence that way, and I think it will be continue to be that force. I don't think I don't see that conversation migrating in mass to Facebook or Google Plus. I think each each social network, if you will, each social channel will develop its own. Um, kind of ethos and, and purpose. And on Facebook, I think it's photo sharing, it's uh, updates from friends and family, it's interactions with brands to some degree. Um, on Twitter, it's interaction with brands for sure, uh, news and information, interaction with celebrities and personalities, interaction with government. And Google Plus, early to tell, but right now, so far, seems to be technical topics. But we'll see. Now that it's opened up to everybody, I think that could change.